Five years ago, humanity quietly crossed into a new era. A scientist walked on stage at the Human Genome Editing Conference in Hong Kong to reveal he'd modified the embryos of twin girls before they were born. He'd changed a gene known to create resistance to infection by HIV. Scientists in the audience were shocked, and a near-unanimous call was made to halt similar attempts. Illnesses like sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, and Huntington's disease are inherited. They start as variations in genes, the codes in human DNA that tell bodies how to make cells. Out of millions of letters of code, just one can be out of place. And in some cases, only one parent needs to have a variant gene to pass a serious and rare condition to their children. New tools are available to edit the human genome. The most efficient so far is CRISPR. It finds, cuts, and replaces parts of genes to deliver a new genetic code to a target with great accuracy. Our vision, our dream, is that there would be basically a CRISPR cure center where physicians would see a child, their, the, the child's DNA would get read, and professional geneticists would understand what causes the disease. And then they would send that information to the CRISPR cures group, and they would be like a rapid response team. They would just jump on it. Today, genetic editing therapies modify immune cells to recognize cancer, correct loss of vision directly in the eye, and seem to have reversed sickle cell anemia by editing the cells in bone marrow. We want to really pay attention as um, these technologies are being developed, as they're getting closer and closer to market, about how we are considering the populations at hand that have access or don't have access to these technologies. A human embryo contains a few cells that become a whole person. In theory, these could be edited to prevent a rare or serious inherited disease from ever starting. But no studies have shown how an embryotic edit would affect a person throughout their life. And as an embryo develops into a fetus, any changes would be replicated too, including in the cells involved in reproduction. And that would allow human-made changes to be passed down generation after generation with unknown effects. The last time they met, scientists and ethicists said it was too soon to try. With new therapies coming online, it might also not be worth the risk. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.